Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore one of the best device I have ever got. So today we have Siemens S65, as you can see. So Siemens S65 is a very long expected business phone from German tech company, Siemens. And S65 actually heavily loaded with functions, feature and integrated megapixel camera, which is 1.3 megapixel back here. It's huge actually um, feature for a device to have a camera back then in 2004 and this one got 1.3 megapixel and this camera is actually pretty good for that time I would say and also it got a memory card slot as you can see it's here and it got SD card of 32 MB actually and the SD card is still here actually I will show you that later on and it was actually a pretty good device and back then there were a few other devices released uh, at the time uh, like Nokia's Nokia 6230 and Sony Ericsson K700. Those are few devices which actually pretty good device back then and released in 2004. And this was a business class device as you can see here, the look and you can see here and it got tons of features. For 2004 device, you are getting a lot from this one actually. So if you go with the specs of this device, it's not really matter for today's time but it is a huge thing for back then. So it got an TFT display 2.1 inch. The resolution is 132 by 176 pixel. It is a nine uh, lines display with four by three aspect ratio. As you can see here, pretty uh, decent for back then actually. It's pretty huge deal actually getting a color display back then. Uh, Nokia also getting with similar type of display back then, but those are a little bit smaller maybe. I'm not really sure. And it got an SD card slot and also it came with a 32 MB SD card which is here and you have to like yeah the SD card is there actually but for some reason the SD card here is actually not recognizing I don't really know so the SD card is here as you can see here now the SD card here is 2 GB maybe the owner who got this device they updated the SD card maybe the SD card 2 GB SD card this device doesn't support maybe that is the issue that's why it's not showing there but the SD card is there and this type of SD card I have seen in Nokia devices too and also um, the internal storage of this device is actually 11 MB so a lot of things you can store in one like 11 MB and in front we also got uh, our keypad and we got a joystick here which is pretty similar to Nokia's N73 uh, navigation joystick and it is pretty good I would say and right hand side we also got our volume rockers too in this device and uh, on the bottom as you can see we got a, a proprietary connector from Siemens I can't really find it right now and as you can see the back we have a 1.3 megapixel camera and we also got an infrared or I don't really know how to use this infrared port but it is there I have seen this port in many uh, Nokia devices too but I have never used one of this and the battery of this device actually it's really difficult to get battery for this kind of device I had this device for very long time but I could not able to use this device because of battery but nowadays I'm using uh, like a trick to use so I put a battery here as you can see um, just connected the positive and negative and now it's working perfectly fine so there is no issue and I did put my sim card there so now let's turn on this device and if I turn on the device I hope it will turn on and now it is turning on yeah, I need the display is pretty good but the resolution is also very low but it is pretty good for this kind of device and one of the thing I have noticed in this device actually if you turn on the device it will ask you to confirm that like you have to confirm it to switch it on otherwise it will shut it down automatically so if, if I press ok now then it will turn on the device yeah ok now it is turned on as you can see it is showing network search and info so I did try phone call with this device and phone call is working perfectly fine although it is a pretty old device and let's go back so now as you can see it is now searching for network so the UI is something like this as you can see it got phone book it got call records and it got surf and fun we will come to this folder later on and we got a camera too and the camera does work perfectly fine still and even it, it can record videos too so if I turn on the camera as you can see 
the camera is on. Maybe you cannot see, but the camera is on. And it got a 1.3 megapixel camera and we can switch to camcorder mode too. So if you want to record video with this one for your YouTube, you can do that too. We got messaging, we got organizer and pretty a lot of stuff actually. So we got our alarm clock, sound recorder, calculator, unit converter, stopwatch, countdown, remote, sync, device manager and also file system. So I don't really know what is in device manager, maybe profile and other things. So yeah, and going back, we got our my stuff section. So you can access your SD card. As I said, the SD card is not available right now. Although maybe the SD card is not supported in this device, 2 GB. And other things are here, all the things. So the last disk device used actually is from 2008. So after 2008, no one used this device after I got it and just started using it. And going to the setting part, there are a lot of things going on. And there are a thin section, like you do with Nokia devices. You can like uh, download theme for this device and apply. So I got Windows Mobile theme, which I have downloaded from my PC and share it with Bluetooth. And it, the theme is working perfectly fine. Uh, and it does work. So as you can see here, it is applying the theme right now. Kind of fun actually to do like explore this kind of devices. And like getting the stuff for this kind of devices are actually quite fun and quite struggling to actually finding something for this kind of device. So there are a lot of things going on as you can see. You can get screen saver. You can uh, like shut down animation, startup animation. Everything is here. You can you can choose big letters. There are a lot of things going on with this, de with this device actually. And now we can go. So, okay. We turn on the... Maybe the logo, color, skin, start animation, shut down. Mm -hmm. Big letters, we don't want that. So, as you can see, the, the display is glitching right now. It is because of battery, I think. If the battery is pretty low right now, maybe the battery cannot support this device right now. That's why it is having this kind of issues. So in the setting, we also got a few other things. We got ringtones. Let's try ringtones. If I go to volumes section, maybe we can see some ringtones. Ringtone setting on, off, or deep. So, okay, we on. Go to the volume section. Calms. The speaker is pretty loud. We got this. There is only one speaker here. It's for phone call and for other things stuff. So it doesn't come with any kind of like feature pack things like music and other things, but it does work actually for music and other things too. But it doesn't got any kind of like uh, FM radio. That's quite strange. We did not got any kind of FM radio. Now going with the surf and fun part, which I've been waiting for actually. Going with the game section, there are three games. As you can see, Sea Battle, uh, Siemens 3D Rally and Worms. So these games working perfectly fine in this device actually. And going to the application part, so there are a lot of things going on. Now opening, so there are a few applications which came with this device like uh, Cocktail Manager, Download Assistant, Emergency, Honet, and with JTIP I have installed, I have installed Video Editor and a Survival Dictionary. So these things I have installed, but for some reason the internet is not working on this device. Uh, it is having a issue called CDC networks not available. Maybe the way it connect to the internet, the way it use the internet, it is like not working anymore. So if I try to go to internet right now, I did try to solve internet. The way I have installed Opera Mini and JTube is just directly sending the file over Bluetooth and installing it. And it did work perfectly fine. But rather than that, you cannot browse internet on this device. So if I try to go to now, go to section, or uh, if I try to send this something right now, so it will say like uh, CDC network not available, something like that. So that is the issue actually. Although you can make phone call with this device, right now it is not connected to the network. So let me let me connect it to the network. So choose network because the auto network is already off. I did turn it off. So now if I, I have to select it manually. To connect to the network. Please wait. Funny part is everything works perfectly fine on this device. Actually it's pretty good for this kind of device. 
so now connecting searching for network still maybe it will take time but it does work it's still perfectly fine and quite good device for like i'm pretty amazed by this kind of device this is pretty beautiful device and the buttons and other things works pretty well the buttons are pretty clicky as you can see here the navigation is pretty good and as you can see here it's pretty fast too actually it is not really slow but there is no music player or anything like that if you really want to listen to the music you have to directly go here and just to watch like listen to the music or videos there is no music player so if i go to extra maybe let me check yeah so there is no music player as you can see here pretty good device and pretty i think amazing device and i really like this kind of device so that's all about siemens s65 i can't explore more with this device as there is no like an internet or anything like that it it did like it it does have like bluetooth and other things you can listen to the music over bluetooth and other like earphones and those things work perfectly fine and messaging and phone conversation are like working perfectly fine and it's really tough to get this kind of device right now but i will be keep keeping this for my collection and pretty good device and if you have any memories with this kind of device you can let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you next Thank you.